Hello, I'm Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a body weight only cardio workout for you. So this workout is so scalable. This can be as easy or as difficult as you would like today. It all comes down to cutting out the jumps or jumping with intensity, your range of motion. I will co coach you all the way through on how to make things easier or harder. And as always, I encourage you to listen to your body. I've included both your warm up and your cool down so you have everything you need in this one routine. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're doing 30 seconds each of these nice and light warm up movements. After this four minutes of kind of intro activity to get our bodies ready, we'll be stepping up the intensity. So hang with me, be patient through this lower key stuff. We're just waking up our muscles, our bodies, and our minds to work out. Sometimes that can be a little bit of a shift. Sometimes it's harder to get into than others, but just start moving, just focus on the way your body feels, tune in and be thinking about um, what your intention is for today. You're, you're here, so you've already, uh, you know, half the battle, <laughs> you've already won. So, like I said, 30 seconds apiece. We're gonna be switching in five seconds to slow jumping jacks. So no impact here, just stepping out. Nice full range of motion on those arms. Instead of right here, extend all the way at the elbow there. So you get a nice range of motion and feel free, keep the impact low for now, but feel free to step up the pace. Just move nice and smooth. And here in our warm up, establish a nice breathing pattern. Make sure you're not holding your breath at any point. All right, five seconds left. We're gonna to switch to a lateral step plus a knee. So right here, just step as wide as you can and then bring that knee up. Again, you can pick up the pace. If you wanna make it harder, don't set that foot down. As you step, just use all balance. But since we're just warming up, if that feels difficult, be sure to break it down and apart so you can get that body, those muscles ready before you start up to really challenge. Five seconds and we're gonna to switch to an opposite toe touch. So warming up the backs of the legs there, the low back, do this with caution. You're always paying attention, especially the first time you move into a particular range of motion. You wanna make sure everything feels good because things change from day to day, week to week. So you wanna make sure you know what your body's capable of each day before you start to ramp up the intensity. And it's all a question. You're never demanding anything. So be open to those messages. Next up, we're doing a high knee pull. So nice and tall, just pulling down, alternating. Which leg comes up, pull in that core, pull down with those arms, have some intention. So we're getting warmed up there. Start to get a little more um, deliberate with your motions, nice and clean. Bring some muscle flexion to it. Five seconds left. And we are going to switch to a standing jackknife. So nice and tall. Here. And if you need to, this can be right here. If it feels a little uncertain on your balance, or you can just be right here too. So whatever you need to for your balance and your flexibility, make it work for you. All right, we're gonna be switching to butt kickers next. So right here, you have the option of staying low impact. And since we're several minutes in now, you can also step it up if you'd like. Just make sure you're landing nice and soft. Control the landing, it's part of the workout, that bodily control. Let those fingers, make sure you're not making clenched fists. All right, next up, I'm gonna do fly jacks. So here's your low impact option. Again, full extension, rather than staying cramped, really extend, it should feel good. And if you want the higher impact version, just add in that jump. Again, being careful to land softly. And I'm gonna turn up my timer, the beeps on my timer after this. It's pretty quiet. <laughs> 10 seconds left and we'll get into our workout. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Okay, so grab a very quick drink of water if you need it, and we'll jump into our cardio intervals. 
All right, for our cardio intervals, we're doing 45 seconds active with 15 seconds rest. So we're not doing any repeat workouts or any repeat exercise in here. Each interval is different. So hopefully we can keep you guessing. Otherwise, we're starting off with a runner pull and tap back. So right here and switch. So there's so many different ways to make this easier or harder. You can pick up the pace for more cardio. If your legs are not sore from a lower body workout, turn that tap back into a lunge. So make it work for you today, depending on what you did yesterday and what you plan on doing tomorrow and how you feel right now. So, and you can even switch back and forth between the cardio and more strength oriented versions of these exercises. All right, so next up we're doing slow burpees, which you are more than welcome to turn into regular burpees if you like. Otherwise, this is kind of breaking it down piece by piece. It's still a great workout, still a great exercise, but it takes a little more um, focus if you like. Instead of just popping into it, step one foot out at a time. Just make sure that you're leading with a different leg each time. And then once you're comfortable, pick up the pace. Keep going a little over halfway. Ten seconds. Stop and take a break whenever you need it, but try to push yourself. Gently push yourself, right? So, should never want to vomit during a workout. It means you push too far. So, next up we have high knee claps. So, we're gonna be standing nice and tall. Ooh, take a nice deep breath. We're going here and clapping. So, big arm movements. And just, well, not really clapping, but tapping those hands together under that leg. It's okay to move whatever pace you need to. If you feel yourself starting to get tired, just slow it down. Give yourself a second in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then go back to a higher intensity, whatever that might look like for you, as soon as you can. Five seconds left. Wow, those arms really drive up that cardio, right? And next up, we're gonna be doing a standing jackknife plus a squat. So we're gonna put a squat in between each time we tap that toe in front of our body. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go, so down and squat. You can do both hands together if you like, or one at a time. Make sure you're keeping your Back nice and flat as you go into that squat. Start hinge at the hips like this and sink down. Keep your knees pressed outwards in line with those toes and feet. And you can slow this down if you need to, as always. All right, this next interval requires a little bit of coordination, so don't be mad at me. Don't judge yourself, okay? That's what we're here for. So we're gonna be doing three switch foot jumps plus a knee plus a kick. So, here we go. So it's one, two, three, once we're here, kick, and then kick, sorry, knee and then kick. One, two, three, knee and kick. So just keep that going. And if you want to cut the jumps out, two, three, here's my knee, and there's my kick. One, two, three, knee, and kick. Again, land soft. Keep, oops, watch the knee joints. 
All right, the next one, this is a little bit of a cardio challenge here. We get a water break right after this. So push yourself as hard as you can in these 45 seconds. We're gonna be doing a lateral jump plus a power skip. So as far as we can to one side, if you can, don't set that foot down, just go straight up into a power jump. So your low impact version, just cut out the jumps. Move nice and strong. If you don't want to jump, you can make it harder by going into a deeper squat as you step sideways. Halfway, keep going. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds to rest. Push in these last five seconds. Ooh, okay. Now we've earned ourselves a water break, so quick drink and we'll jump back in. All right, we're jumping right back into that 45 on, 15 seconds off structure. We're starting off with a great big X jump plus a split jump, and we'll be alternating back and forth. So take that nice, last, relaxing breath in, and here we go. So X jump and then split jump. X jump, split jump. So just jump those hands and feet apart, and then behind your body in sort of a shallow lunge, which you can turn into a full lunge if you like as well if you want low impact back and x out back and out so pick your poison move strong land soft Up. We're doing four pull down butt kickers plus four high knee pulls in the front. So when you're pulling down nice and strong, you can even pretend like you have weights in your hands if you like. Otherwise, a little bit of a combo move. Four pull downs here and then four in front. Three and four. Back. And you can move slow and make this difficult or you can move quickly and make this difficult. Either way, I ask that you don't speed it up until you feel like your movements are nice and clean. Until you can ensure that you're getting a full range of motion. Ten seconds. It's kind of a nice little opportunity to catch our breath here. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing stutter jacks, which again, is kind of an exercise that can make you feel a little bit uncoordinated. I would just remind you that's the point we're practicing. So we're gonna be jumping apart in three different increments and a jumping jack. So and here, here, and here. So just break it apart. Again, land nice and soft. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath, and think happy thoughts, right? And if you want the low impact version, just break it apart. There we go. All right, otherwise, oops. See, it's hard to do. Your brain just wants to do the thing that it's used to. So it's good for us to challenge those patterns. Under 15 seconds. Pick up the pace if you can. Just keep it clean still. All right. So next up, we have three marches plus front, side, and back taps. So I kind of stole this from some of my walking workouts I've been doing a lot of or getting into lately. So just one, two, three, front tap. One, two, three, front tap. Next, we're going to the side and just keep that pattern up. Three marches plus a front, side, and back tap. So I'm just gonna start again, starting in the back this time. 
but you can just like with the other ones add urgency you know you can pick up the pace just make sure that you're still easy on those joints just about five seconds left all right next up we're gonna be doing a good morning plus an opposite knee to elbow so I have my hands right here by my head and nice and clean, nice flat back and strong core. I'm gonna be hinging at the hip to do a good morning and come up and do a cross crunch. So just rotate gently, just like before. This is one of those things, even into your routine. How am I doing today? Do the first couple reps as a question and then you'll know roughly how far you can push into your range of motion or how hard you can jump, whatever the question is. You need to ask yourself for the answer. Tune in, tune inward. Two and one. All right, next up. We're gonna be doing two wide stance spot kickers plus a pivot squat. So, in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, so wide stance, with that pull down, and coming here, I'm gonna pivot and do a squat. And that can be as deep or as shallow as you need it to be, but keep your back nice and flat, stick your butt out behind you, have your weight predominantly on those heels, Keep your eyes up, don't round your back. And opening up those hips, it should feel good. Just move with caution. 15 seconds left. And if you wanna pick up the pace, you can certainly do that. Just make sure, again, that your movements are clean. Five seconds. Let's get one more in there. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing a walk down plank plus either a plank jack or plank taps, depending on what you're into today. So, I'm losing my ponytail here. All right, so we're gonna be walking down. There we go, and once we're here, either do these or come back up. Oh, come back up once you're done either way, but your alternative is to tap out. So, form nice and clean, pull in your core. Try to make sure you're hopping those feet the same amount apart on either side. Hmm. 10 seconds left. Oh, buddy. Okay, next up, we're gonna drop down to the floor. We'd be doing a reverse bicycle crunch, which is going to feel strange. <laughs> so first, I recommend actually doing a bicycle crunch, letting your body realize what that feels like. Now stop and pedal that bicycle the opposite direction. Opposite elbow to knee, rotating through that torso. Your elbow's gonna try to cheat and come into that knee. I know mine is doing it right now, so I'm gonna try to push those elbows out. Three, two, and one. Buddy, that's just one of those ones where you're like, where is the timer? <laughs> Please come save me. All right, next up we're gonna be doing an up down plank plus a center tap. So try not to fall in your own sweat, but we're gonna be starting in tall plank, go down, down, up, up, and tap in the center. Next time, start with the opposite side of the body. And if you want to make this 
a little easier. You can just do it from your fore or your knees and your forearms. It's gonna make it harder to get that center tap in, but that's okay. Just if you need a break, come here. Otherwise, 15 seconds. Stay here as long as you can. Whew. Okay, next up, we're gonna be doing a bridge plus an extension plus a toe touch crunch, which I promise is way simpler than it sounds. So starting on our backs, be pushing through those heels for a nice strong bridge, come down, extend here, and do a crunch, and just go back and forth. Trying not to use any momentum, no swinging, just all muscle work, slow and controlled. All right, all right, so we have just one more active interval left. This one, we're gonna be doing a bird dog sweep. So, such an important exercise, just this amazing total body exercise with just a little twist. So we're going up like usual. This time you're gonna pull your arm down to the side before you switch. So opposite arm and leg and pull down. So this should be a little bit of a challenge on the balance and a little bit of muscle work, but it should also feel good. It kind of feels like a nice little stretch. So try to keep your back nice and level. Good core control here. Feel that burn, that heat in the muscles of your glutes. All right, so we have made it through this workout. So now all we have left is our cool down and stretch. All right, for our cool down, we're gonna be holding each of these stretches for 30 seconds. So we're gonna start off with a quad stretch. So the front of our thighs here, so if you need something to hold on to, go ahead and find it. Otherwise, we're pulling that foot up to our butt and we're just gonna hang out here. So within all of these stretches, um, like I say, it's always a question, never force a stretch. So be very careful, move slowly and lean in slowly as well. So after you've held a stretch for a little while, your body and your muscles are going to give you a little more leeway within that stretch. So you'll find if you gently, slowly lean in as we hold these stretches, that you're likely to find more range of motion as you've held that stretch. All right, so switch sides. So you're gonna wanna drink water after this. Don't guzzle it, but just basically keep it on you all day long and just sip throughout the whole day. And you want to feed yourself something healthy after this. Eat soon after this workout so you can replenish the stores that you just burned through so that you can do everything from walk and think clearly and have conversations. Um, Food is our fuel and it fuels everything, right? So here we go with a arm cross pull and a hip flexor stretch. So taking those hips and tucking them in so you feel a good stretch through the front of the thigh here or hip flexors rather than that hip. And then we'll throw in an upper body stretch as well. So this is a pretty quick cool down. So if you feel that you need a stretch in any other areas, just like a warm up, there's never anything wrong with extra warm up or cool down. Those are two things that can help you, switch signs right here. Those are two things that can help you, like if you have an injury or you're a beginner, you have arthritis or asthma, a longer warm up and a longer cool down are things that can help make workouts easier on your body. They kind of help you get into it more gradually and out of it more gradually, which is a great thing if you're 
trying to, you know, work with your body. <laughs> Workouts aren't supposed to be punishment. We're supposed to uh, benefit our lives, right? So structure your workout like you care about your body. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to go for a total forward lean here. So you get a nice stretch through the backs of the thighs. And as we round our backs, we'll also get a nice stretch through our back. And then I'm gonna clasp my hands together and just deepen that stretch and add in an upper body stretch as well. And I'm kind of rocking back and forth while I'm here, just kind of moving into different places, seeing what that feels like. All right, so next up, I'm gonna take one leg behind the other and that same arm on that same side, lean in to deepen that stretch. And really, you can feel this depending on how you move. You can change it and move it a little bit all the way down from, you know, through your ribs, all the way down to your feet, really, if you lean into it right. And you can move that further back if you like, further behind the body. Otherwise, just treat yourself to some nice deep breaths while we're here. All right, switch sides. Same thing here, just lean in. All right, for this next interval, we're going to be walking down nice and slow into a kneeling position. So just kind of take your time. Each time you move your hands, you're going to be changing the dynamic of that stretch. So once you're there, just drop those knees and take a deep breath in. Exhale up into cat of cat cow. Inhale as you flex the other way. All right, now I'm going to flip over and do a deep glute stretch. So right here, holding that leg over, pulling it in. And again, you can kind of just rock here if you like. Again with the deep breaths, in through your nose and then slower out through your mouth. So that kind of breathing pattern is a great way to tell our bodies, okay, we're done with the work. Switch sides here. We're done with the work and it's okay to rest now. So we can go back to a calmer state where our body is better able to heal, um, digest, and do all kinds of other really important processes that if we're in a really stressed state, our body doesn't function as well at those incredibly essential basic things. So it's important to check in, use that cool down to just really calm down mentally and physically both. And on that note, actually, let's treat ourselves to just a couple of full body stretches here. So inhaling as you take those arms and legs apart. And exhale as you relax. Okay, let's do that one more time. And this time focus on really sending that breath all the way down to your stomach, okay? So stretching away. Try to fill your belly. Hold for just a second and out through the mouth as you relax. So you are welcome to do that as many times as you like. Otherwise, you just finished this whole workout. So I hope, I hope that you feel great. Um, I hope you feel proud of yourself. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for working out with me. Good job. This workout is complete. I've only done this like 400 times, so I still get nervous. <clears throat> Literally, I think 400 times now. Okay, let's go. Actually, how many? No, I'm just curious. I gotta know. 425! This is workout number 425! Okay. Let's do it.